It was my first time actually starting in basketball. I mean, um, it was pretty exciting for me. The ball was thrown out of bounds and I uh, dove for it. And as I dove for it, I slid, turned my body to brace myself and my head ended up uh, crashing into the bleachers and it gave me a pretty bad concussion. Uh, the day after Zach's concussion, he went back to school and Nurse Nadine, I had called ahead of time and asked her to keep an eye on him. The next day after I received Zach's mom's phone call, I did go out and check on him at lunch. And towards about eighth, ninth period, I started feeling kind of sick, dizzy. Zach came down to see me, said his headache was worse. He felt very dizzy, felt unsteady on his feet. So I had Zach lay down. I did an assessment on him. I checked out his pupils, which at that time were unequal and not responding equally. Um, finished my assessment, called his mom, and she said she was a little bit concerned about Zach told her what I thought we should do, which was send him um, via ambulance to the hospital, and she was okay with that. So I called 911, continued to monitor him, and we transported him to the hospital. They ran several tests. They attempted to put an IV. Um, they ran an EKG, and they noticed that something was wrong, which had nothing to do with the concussion, but they knew that it wasn't right. They were running extra EKGs on him, they ran the first one and it didn't seem correct, something didn't seem right, and they continued to run them, eventually sent him to the ER where they ran another one and he still was coming up with an ir irregular EKG. The EKG plays a key role in detecting the arrhythmia. It guides the paramedics to recognize the problem. It also um, guides them in um, what they should be doing and whether they need to apply the EAD, which is the automatic defibrillator device or not, and it could be life-saving, so diagnosis is the first step and EKG provides a diagnostic tool. Um, EKG also provides supportive um, evidence for other structural heart conditions such as hole in the heart, um, valve problem, they might show up um, other sign of involvement on the electrocardiogram. Zachary is doing fabulous since the surgery. Um, it's something that we didn't even realize was an issue because there were no signs ahead of time. But we do notice that he is a lot stronger. He's not as tired as he used to be after sports activities. I honestly feel better, a lot better. I think it's important for the kids to have an EKG screening in August because there are numerous conditions that can go undetected and kids can feel absolutely normal and the EKG will catch those abnormalities. It's really been important for District 200 to establish a strong partnership with Centegra Health Systems. I think this is a great opportunity for families to do another health check of their child and to reassure themselves and then if they do find something to be able to take the necessary steps to, to take care of the issue. The EKG test, I believe, is pretty important because I had no idea that there was anything wrong. I would strongly recommend for parents to take the time with the minimal fee that's being charged to have an EKG for their child, especially these athletes because Zachary could have just been another one of those athletes that, without any kind of warning, could have died on a field, on a court, but without that EKG, we would have never known to look it might have been too late 